So you have how many supplements to write? I know, there are a ton. And you want to learn how to save time and potentially even write less. By the end of this video, I will break down basically the two main types of supplements and their key elements so you can be potentially writing less and saving time. Thank you for joining me on my channel for the best college essay advice. Subscribe and hit the bell. After the Why Us essays, Why NYU, Brown, Tulane, UCF, basically a ton of schools have the Why Do You Want to Attend Our School. Um, after those, and by the way, I'm linking a few videos above because I have released basically kind of breakdowns on that essay and then school specific ones, sharing my screen and showing you how to research like a pro. Um, the other supplemental essays tend to be two types of kind of activity identity. Stay tuned and I will break down those so that you can definitely adapt and recycle and save time. Hi, I'm Dr. Josie with Write Your Acceptance. With hundreds of students in college or graduates by now, I know what they're looking for. And now it's your turn. Type one, the identity essay. And so actually, eh, um, caveat first. Before you get started, you don't want to recycle any information, any major information that you've used in your Common App or Coalition App essay, right? So that essay ideally is going to all the schools, so you don't want to borrow anything from there. You want to kind of draft something new. So the identity part of your supplements could be something like, um, tell us about a community you belong to, you're a part of, um, how will you enrich our school? So it's those types of kind of tangential moments where you're gonna talk about who you are and how you add a nice flavor to their college. Um, students have used holiday parties um, in the past. I'll give you examples. Um, so some students use a holiday dinner at their house and that'll kind of allow them to dip into cultural traditions and customs, various languages, um, how their role in their family as peacemaker or as kind of someone that is more politically inclined without getting into any politics, you don't want to alienate anyone, but showing who you are within a mix of, of people, of a community. Another example is a student uh, joining a student club and then assuming a leadership role. Maybe they give kind of a zero in on example on how they made an unpopular choice, but it was the right choice to make and what they learned about leadership, what they learned about friendship and about how to kind of navigate social tensions when you know you are taking the right course, but it may not be the most popular necessarily. What did you learn? Another example is a student who writes about their impromptu Sunday soccer games. So basically one person of the group kind of emails or texts everyone in uh, this distribution list and then you have X amount of time to opt in or out of the game for that Sunday. And so he talks about how that has reframed his idea of identity and community as much more dynamic and makeshift and something that you kind of help to build as the players that come together, him included, are from all walks of life all uh, backgrounds, all dimensions, all ages, um, all abilities. And so he kind of talks about that game as a community that is not kind of the um, expected type of community. For more examples um, like these, I have a video linked where I talk about how students use mangoes, cross country running, a dental office. So you really want to kind of pick apart and get really creative with your identity. But once you have a core identity supplement, you can kind of adapt it and, and make it bendy. Uh, and use it elsewhere. Type two, the activity supplement. So this prompt is like, tell us about an extracurricular activity that is most important to you. So basically the student that wrote about mangoes uh, wrote about her debate team. I've seen um, supplements on uh, model UN, youth soccer coaching, uh, teaching fourth grade math for a summer program. Uh, the student that would write about cross country, for instance, so it's kind of an activity, but they define it as a community for the first supplement, the first type, would write about then teaching fourth grade math um, for their activity. So you can think about kind of where you would put what, but definitely don't recycle um, the content, right? So one identity topic, one kind of activity driven topic. Quick tip, so it doesn't have to be the one or two activities you do the most. It should be an activity that you've learned a lot from. So basically you can kind of end with kind of lessons learned at, um, at towards the end of the supplement, however long or short that sub is. Now, how I frame it to my students, uh, the identity essay should be, it can be something you do, so it can be cross country, but you're framing it as a community. And it's something that you kind of, you wanna end with something that you've learned. The activity essay, um, it could be cross country, but it could be something else, right? Um, the activity is something that you do, that you've learned from, but how have you kind of socially impacted, no matter how big or small, whether it's you've cheered on a student that kind of was shying away from the activity, or you've kind of founded 
a kind of youth soccer program in, a, in an area of your community that didn't have one. So how have you impacted kind of your community, however small or big? And then in that way, you're really kind of hitting a lot of aspects with either the identity or the activity supplement where, yes, you're talking about identity, but you're also talking about an activity. You're talking about um, community. You're talking about social contribution. In the activity one, you're doing the same thing about your role within the community, about what you've learned and about how you've impacted your community. So it's like a lot kind of going on within the supplement. And ideally, you want to hit a couple of these um, aspects um, smoothly, right? <laughs> That's the goal. Now that you know the types of subs, do you know how to structure them for maximum engagement? One phrase, Latin phrase, in media rests. So you want to get in the middle of things. I have a free college essay download that'll help you with the main essay, but then it'll also give you a quick video presentation on how to really structure that beginning of the supplement so that you get into the content right away, you're engaging your reader, and you are just kind of maximizing that content. It's a free college essay download in the description below. Grab that. If you found this video helpful, please give us a like, comment below. Thank you, thank you. And uh, I'll keep bringing them out. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon.